plenty of room. Look at all them extra cells there, ready just to be filled with cells. Let's strip it all down. I've desoldered off the main positive of that end. I've desoldered off the power and the charge from this end. And we're going to remove this BMS. We've got a nice new BMS to go on there. Now I just need to remove all these cells. Seems to be coming off quite nicely. I've got all the stuff off. I can now take this off. Remove all these. Start putting these in. Yeah. Oh, these cells. These. No idea. Eight point eight amp hours apparently for four of them. So these are two point twos. I guess. There you go. The spot welds weren't very good, but they worked. Oh, and I'm gonna have five cells by eleven, not four by ten. So that will be much better. Getting there, I'm just gonna add the rest of these blue cells now. Should be all good. Just a few more to go. Pew. 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 Pew, pew, pew. Dun, 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 dun. Let's get it all spot welded together now. Oh yeah. It's gonna be mint. Oh, there's all my strips. I've got to flatten them out. Shouldn't take me long. Is this side half done? Obviously I need to do the parallel links. But I'll have to do all the series first. Just got to do this side now. Put all them together. Oh, and the BMS. 11S BMS. Well, it's actually a 12, but you can wire it for an 11. It comes with silicone wires. These are beautiful cables. I don't think I've ever had a BMS delivered with the uh, silicon wires. I'll probably put the link to the description in this one. Depending on how it works, of course. That's pretty good. Finish that now. I decided to use some of this old stuff. So I didn't want to throw it away. I mean, it's only on the parallel lines, but this is what happens. Hold <laughs> it. Sparks like crazy. There we go. Right, that's all the spot welding done. Fingers crossed, that's all right. What well, eco friendly spot welding because I've recycled it. <laughs> there we go. Let's get the BMS for you. So I've currently got it on charge. Let's get it up a few more. Volts. I think I can go to 56.4, I think, and then um, I'll see what voltage the cutoff is at. I'll make sure that it cuts the power when it's supposed to. So, should be cool. Almost finished. They're all sitting about 4.22, but it's still charging. So, I believe the cutoffs were 4.2. Five. I'm gonna double check. So I charge up to two, four point two. Oh, we'll see now actually. This might not be the actual cell that it's cutting off on, but it'll be close, because they're all matched. It's 
Should trip at 4.23. So watching paint dry. There we go. And that's it, charged. Right, we'll keep going on and going off. So if you left it plugged in, this will go on and off every now and again. Depends how far you want your battery, I suppose. But there we go. I'm quite happy with this little BMS. I had to do one thing with the wires, and that was to connect the last three connections together. So these two and this one are all one connection. I've actually soldered the back of the pin on the, on the board itself uh, and that enables this board to be an 11S. So very nice, very happy with that. They're all done. I'm going to clean all that up, put it all back together, get it on the bike and take it for a ride. Now this is finished. I'm going to test it, but first Look what I've got to do next. Yes, very nice. That's 40, 40 kilometres an hour downhill. In high mode. Loving it! Zoom, zoom.